Spirit of my silence, I can hear you, but I'm afraid to be near you, and I don't know where to begin, and I don't know where to begin. Somewhere in the desert, there's a forest and an acre before us, but I don't know where to begin but i don't know where to begin again i lost my strength completely oh be near me tired old mare with the wind in your hair This planet. I don't know, we've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. It's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Hmm. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Oh, cool. Should he be dark or colorful? Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. a training session with my power. Mmm, chocolate. Thanks, Claire. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. 
I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. I think the Flying Fortress is secure for now. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons, but just in case. Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? You can't win this battle, Noctarius. It's already over, Power Bear. Cool. Uh, cool. Don't let Mantroy control you. Nobody controls me. Mantroid is my leader, and he wants you to die. <laughs> Give up now. We don't have to fight. You're not the boss of me, Power Bear. You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh, good guy? I'm sorry, Nocturus. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. Oh, my back. How? How did you do this? I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, please come to my aid. I can't defeat Nocturus on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit! Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge. For me! <sighs> Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. It is time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. I can take the pain. At least I don't have to use any needles. Watch out, supervillains. Today I make my own superhero costume. Chris, breakfast. Man, I wanted to go to that, but Dad had to watch the playoffs. This is a first. I didn't have to tell you twice. The food smelled good. But you know how to work the ref. I think the eggs turned out all right. The salt is a secret. Uh, you let me know. Pour yourself some milk, okay? Accomplished. Breakfast of Champions. <sighs> well, 
What'd you expect, a waffle? It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you can be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah. Okay. So, Dad, what's the big plan for today? Uh, big game plan. Even though we'll probably lose again. Gotta get rid of that coach. Today I bet we win. Now that's the fucking spirit. Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? No, it's fine. I worked it out. I, I just want to make sure you're okay, buddy. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. Oh yeah, are you excited too? I don't know. Santa probably put me on his naughty list this year, huh? Nah, Santa says you still get a present. What do you want? Whatever makes you happy, Chris. That's the best gift ever. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Okay, what would Captain Spirit do? Those dishes definitely need a mega clean. Oh man, this is cold. I have to check out the water eater. Shopping. Let's see, what do we need? Uh, 
That should be enough. I've never seen a beaver around here. Oh, vomit! <laughs> Zap! The awful green things are flushed into space. Hmm. Maybe I could cook something for Dad. God damn, you're on fire! It's early, but I can make Dad some mac and cheese. He's too lazy. And he won't eat anything. Beginning countdown to launch. Five, four, three, two, one. Still in progress. Boring. Mine. We never use this door in winter because of the snow. I could help Dad do the laundry using my mind magic. Ew, these clothes even smell dirty. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think of mom. I see what you're doing. Stop it. I didn't do anything. Sorry, Pop. It's war. Oh, cheap shot. I'm going down. You can't kill the zombie jock. No way. That was a headshot. I am a super zombie. Well, I'm a superhero. Can't argue with that. Zombie down. Captain Spirit strikes back. Did you make that for me? You wouldn't get up during the game, so I thought you could eat out here. I can nuke this mac and cheese in no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. You better start cooking from now on, buddy. Mom made the best mac and cheese. I mean... She did make the best mac and cheese. But this is the perfect comfort food for a winter game day. Thanks. Well, taste it first.
Best mac and cheese ever. Maybe Dad want to watch an anime instead. No. Oh yeah, that's how you dominate. That's it. I'm frozen. I must build and a fire. That's how you shoot the ball. On fire all night. Goodbye, log. Damn, you're on fire. Never been. Been. <sighs> hmm, I don't think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. Dad loves his dad notebooks. Okay, you guys can't hide from me. Dad, I found your car keys. That's where they went. I swore I had them on me, but I must have fell out of my pocket last night. Just put them in the bowl. Cool? Yeah. Hey, can you get that? Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Chris, answer the phone, please. Uh, hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay. Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well... I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool story, Dad. I never get tired of hot dog, man. Never. Man, I love this issue. Wish I could draw like this. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. I wonder when I can start to shave. Superhero shave? No! Stole a ball from that oh no, I hate going to the water eater's lair. Geez, where's the heat? I bet the water eater's sleeping again. I feel naked without my costume. Now I can use that makeup from Halloween. No one will guess my secret identity now. Okay, 
That's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. I can't wait to go back inside the Flying Fortress. Ooh, yeah! Yeah, look at the scoreboard, motherfuckers! All right. Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power! <sighs> One more piece and I'm almost done. I could take over the town with this army. Or the world. Hey, Spider Baby. I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast. He's in one place. <laughs> I miss playing ball with my friends before we moved. Hmm, this is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. I've read this one so many times. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. This isn't greedy. Right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. What kind of a Viking would I be? Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. Hmm. I wonder where he hid them. Dad said he was going to fix that last month. Uh, right. Here comes the shark stinger. Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Look out! Here comes the evil car! Ah! <laughs> that pedestrian better get out of the way. That was your last ride, Shark Stinger. Yes, Captain Spirit saved us. You'll never run over anybody again. Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. So glad I did my English homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories.
It'd be cool to shoot like that. Ugh, air ball. I should ask dad to show me again. That was a fun birthday party at Pizza Arcade. I hope it'll be cool next year. Hey. Hey, sports fan. You up for watching the game with your favorite MVP? Sure, Dad. How's the game going? We're kicking their asses, for once. I like it. Cool. I like it when the good guys win. Yep. Me too. Did you and Mom watch a lot of games? Oh, uh, well, actually, she wasn't a big sports fan. Really? Funny, huh? But she liked to sit next to me and read. You got that from her, for sure. That's cool. What did I get from you? Hmm. Well, my hero skills. Right? I get confused by basketball rules. It's like math. You know, but fun. You just have to start watching more games. Maybe we can get a basketball video game to play together. That's not exactly how you learn to play. But it's a start. You won a lot of games, didn't you? That's what those trophies say. That's so cool that you're a sports hero. Huh. Yeah, it was. Everybody knew my name. I wish I could have seen you in action. Here you go. Those were the good old days. Man, I hate even saying that. But they really were. Okay. I'll see you later. I'll let you watch the game now. Yeah, fine. Just get me when it's over. Uh, get ready for the tree. Can we get one that's like 10 feet tall? Only if you cut one down, Viking. We might need a bigger castle, too. Yuck. His pants need to be washed. I swear, Dad wears them every day. Only the neomagnetic waves of my cleaning machine can save these pants now. I'm too old to be measured now. Right? Locked. I wonder what Dad keeps in here. Dad doesn't play Mom's records as much as before. Listening to mom's old records. I remember listening to this with mom. She loved to sing along. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. Dad loves his cancer sticks. Gross. 
wonder what they taste like. That's way too high for me to reach. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Yes, this will totally protect me from Mantroid. My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. That does not look good. The mystery of the secret key is solved. Yes! Careful of booby traps. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Oh. My. God. Dad actually got me the new play box? No way! Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. That's scary. So we moved because dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. I've never seen dad get that mad. It really scares me. Oh man, she loved this song. I haven't listened to it since... for a long time. Long time. Dad never smiles like that anymore. Dad was so popular. If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. Are you kidding me, ref? Hmm, let's check this out. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. You carried it! They dropped this guy and not me. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. I wish I could have gone on a hike with Mom. This has to be Mom's. She liked art. Find circles around that guy. I'm sure I can beat my high score on Mustard Party, too. Ah, I need a pin code. What is it? Yes, hell of a donk. Yes, I can hack any system. 
Let's start. I would love to see Hot Dog Man team up with Captain Spirit. Hmm. I just too busy to care if I go online. There is my Hot Dog Man. I can't see Dad selling homes. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best Dad ever. That'd be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. Oh, those are dad's pages. Grandma and grandpa are so cool, but no way I'm ever leaving dad. No, no, no! Jeez, that you is suck. packed. Whoa. I better take it out. Oh, Ugh, stupid are you? I I'm hate that beer here. can smell. That has a secret. I hope I set this right. Oh, that's nice, Chris. You're better than a housekeeper. Just don't ask for a raise. Welcome to Kitty Club. Meow. Odessa speaking. Oh. Hi? You sound like you're looking for a kitty cat tonight. Mm. Uh, my dad won't let me have a cat, but I would love... Your dad? What? Christ, who is this? How old are you? Hello? You 
Better not be making any prank calls. Hey, buddy. Can you bring me a beer? Okay, sure. Come on, do it for the old man. Feel the power. Now that's a nice cold one. Cheers. Man, that was fast, Dad. <sighs> well, excuse me. Okay, I'll slow down, Chris. This empty can is evil. Would Captain Spirit take care of it? Really? Yeah. Step aside, Mr. Erickson. Captain Spirit is here to recycle. Hey, <laughs> you better hurry. This can's gonna destroy the town. Man, that was too close. Thanks, Captain Spirit. I'm always here to lead my team to victory. It looks like Mar T. Rex is getting hungry. Dinosaur Land is open for business. Eat everybody! I am Mar T. Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! This dinosaur won't eat a grumpy old dad, right? Oh god, I hate going in there. Here, I have to face this monster. The city needs hot water. Well, that wasn't too hard. I've tamed the water beast. Hey, Dad, the water heater was down again, so I fixed it. Wow, you put it back on? Congrats, buddy. I know you hate getting in there. Mrs. Reynolds, this is Chris. Cr Chris Erickson. Well, of course I know who this is, Chris. What a nice surprise. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Yes, 
Well, everything's great. I just want to see if maybe Steven could help me add more stuff to the treehouse, like when he helped Dad build it. I want to add some booby traps. That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside like a real boy. Well, anyway, I'll be happy to let Steven know his services are required. He loves that treehouse. Me too. Gotta keep the bad guys away. What bad guys? Thanks, Mrs. Reynolds. What do you mean? Chris, I told you before that's not a toy. Now hang up. <laughs> that was not a foul. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. Snow looks super slippery. I could shovel it. Extra bonus points unlocked. No way. I wonder if Dad will teach me how to drive. Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. It sucks we don't use this landing bay much. It's so cool. Box has been here forever. Me 
Bad noise. This is where mom went to school before we came here. Mom didn't go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. Oh wow, I remember when mom drew that and dad couldn't stop laughing. I don't get this one. I'm too young. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. My first picture, it looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. Now I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. Yes, it's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. And it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. If Dad used a padlock, he wants to keep me out. Thanks for storing my explosives, Chief. Now I'm ready to rock. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> I know Dad spent a lot of money on the funeral. A lot. Grandma and Grandpa were so nice. I wish we saw them more. Looks like we had a visitor. Oh my god, the lake demon is rising. I can't fight Snowmancer looking like this. No fair. Oh, Snowmancer, this is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now.
How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? Now the Snowmancer is ready for battle. Now you are ready to battle with Captain Spirit. almost froze the whole city until Captain Spirit melted him. For now. Dad won't fix this wing because it's too dangerous to fix. Behold the flying fortress. That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the Ice Queen. A fortress looks safe since we last talked. Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protects us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. I can't let Dad find my secret stash. Ever. <laughs> Open sesame. I loved watching Mom draw her comics. Harry did say mean things about Dad, but I can't let him see this. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. These are my favorite baseball players, even if I don't understand the stats. Maybe I can use this to read the map. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. Maybe I could take one little puff. <sighs> Slow, like Dad.
amethyst and flowers on the table is it real or a fable well i suppose a friend is a friend and we all know how this will end chimney swift that finds me be my keeper silhouette of a cedar what is that song you sing for the dead what is that song you sing for the dead i see the signal such lights strike me Jerks. Like people don't drink in bars around here. I hate seeing him like this. Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. Now I have the map to the Maze of Doom. I forgive you, Mother, I can hear you, and I long to be near you, but every road leads to an end, yes, every road leads to an end, your apparition passes through.
hands You'll never see us again You'll never see us again Mom was so pretty. I miss Mom's smile. Hmm, maybe the kids who lived here before didn't like it. Here I come, Mantroid. Come on, let's get going. This is Captain Spirit, you copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Escape pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. What's that ahead? Oh no, meteor shower. Turn on the force field. Too late. That's the last crash landing! Ah! I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! The planet is so dark, and the sky is so red, like blood. No wonder Mantroid lives here. But how could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. What's that sound? Something is coming. Or somebody. How dare you come to my planet? Mantroid, show yourself, you coward! Get away from me. <laughs> I don't have to get away because I'm everywhere. Fight me instead of hiding. Jesus. 
You will pay for what you did, man, Troid. I swear. Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. We had reports that you had a big battle with Mantroid. How did it go? I did beat him up, but Mantroid was able to escape once again. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job, and that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. Dad, you, you sleeping? Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Uh... Dad! Uh... Uh... Fuck! Dad, are you okay? Do I look okay? No, I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. <sighs> Fuck! Uh, that's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought, I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? 
go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just, just... Just? Just, you know, cleaning up the house and stuff. On a beautiful Saturday like this, you should be playing instead. I even saw you clearing the snow out of the alley, so I hope you don't work all day. Well, it's laundry day. Dad's watching the game, so... That explains all the beer cans. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Dad just tripped and fell. But he's okay. Sounds like he tripped over a whole bunch of beer cans, right? Okay, Chris. I think I've heard enough. I'm going to talk to Stephen about this, and we'll be back to chat with your father. Wait. You don't... Please. Listen. I'm not trying to hurt you, okay? We want to help. You're not in trouble. You haven't done anything. Just stay put, and we'll come by in a little bit. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. <sighs> Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have, huh? No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. I, just, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes. Yes, you did. No, listen, Chris. <laughs> 